Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023, and we kept the uh, title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm show this 2009 Suzuki Wagon R that just came in. It's got 92,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price to see on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's East Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, <coughs> excuse me. I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. Going to answer a lot of your video, a lot of your questions, such as uh, road tax, uh, warranty, and uh, financing. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Wagon R is a four-passenger vehicle in the yellow plate category. So the midsize, I'm sorry, the smaller category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, three thousand yen, which is about twenty-four dollars right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's giving you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible in that uh, in this in this heat. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover, or if you want to keep it simple, buy get yourself a larger size bath towel or a beach towel and put that across. So with that, let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty, but it's actually really clean. Not too bad. Key fobs on, uh, key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time, and it goes. Sneak this in here and turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. 92,313 on the odometer. Uh, showed you a couple of warning lights. Let's start off with that green one. That green one is your temperature gauge. So it's going to be green when the engine's cool, and it's going to remain on. That's normal. It's going to go away when the engine warms up. That's normal. And then it's going to be red if it's overheating. That's not normal. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, the circular one is your emergency brake. This one's a like kick type. So when you kick it, disengages, goes away. You kick it again, engages, comes right back on. Then over here, of course, you got your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over immediately, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off the left here, you have your radio. Air, uh, uh, your shifter, air conditioning controls. Uh, I thought there was a power outlet. Nope. And nothing else under there. I thought there was power. Oh, yeah, there's a power outlet right here. All right. And then above the glove box, you have a little compartment for storage. And this guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then above the glove box, you have a little uh, shelf here. And then the glove box itself. And then a little bit of space in on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down, or all the way back, I should say. You can't put it down. Um, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I'm pretty good right where I am, okay? And it does have a center uh, armrest right here. You also It also comes with a, a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. I really can't see any passive windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now, normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet. Showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. I'll show you a few other things before you go to the back seat. So you do see a little tab here. So put your finger through there and then lift it up. It's going to give you a little compartment here for some uh, personal storage or private storage. So if you're going to the beach or the mall, you want to put some personal effects in there, then you can do that. And then, but once you put it down, you want to put that, uh, hide that uh, tab away so nobody knows that it's there. 
And of course, if they're watching my video, they're going to know anyway. Okay? And then, <coughs> excuse me. On, and let's just turn this off. Your foot doesn't have to be on a brake to turn it off. You're just going to push that one time and it turns off. On each side of the dash, you do have a, a cup holder. And then just a pocket here for whatever you need it for. And then this one's going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning. You want to see the street a little better? That's where you're going to do it. And then uh, you do have a compartment for uh, miscellaneous stuff. Okay, that's all going to get thrown away. And you have your hood release over here. On the floor here, you do have your gas cover release. Please don't forget it's there. And on the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's head to the back. So your space back here. Okay. Look at how much space there is. Huge amount of space in these things. Now, you do see the, uh, the bar here. You are able to slide this forward. With it all the way forward, I'm about uh, just under an inch away from the back seat to my knees. But with it all the way back, now that's going to extend it out to about five inches. Okay? Uh, nothing as far as storage in the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And a grocery bag hook up to three uh, kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. Then you do have a little bit of uh, or a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. No center console or armrest or anything else like that, since it is a four passenger. <clears throat> so you back here. So here you have your rear space. Now, obviously, if you have the seats forward, this is going to give you extra space. And then if you need to uh, put those forward or uh, lay them down, they do lock into place. And again, if you have them forward, it's going to. Uh, take up that space right there. You won't have that hole there. Okay, but it's pretty impressive with the space back here Let's go to the front here. Show the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up All right, so there you have it is 660 cc engine which will be cleaned during the detailing process And there you go 2009 Suzuki Wagon R 92,000 kilometers on it, which is about uh, 57,000 miles Military prices on a 4500 Additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4300 Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, uh, the 50, uh, I'm sorry, the 4300 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of other vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have, what our program is all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright. We're taking advantage of zero percent finance of 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.